from Melbourne. Let's turn our attention to uh, the bond market, fixed income. Simon Michelle from Fig Securities joins us now. Low yields continue. Any, any sign of any reversal anywhere in the world around that, Simon? Afternoon, James. Look, not into the anytime soon, that's for sure. And uh, look, just to, to bear in mind, I mean, we're in a negative yield environment at the moment, pretty much globally. Um, the US has very high interest rates when you compare globally. One of the countries that uh, has higher than the US is Australia. And we have a AAA rating. Exactly. And look, in terms of, that's obviously one of the reasons why we're seeing this, I suppose, relative strength in the Aussie dollar. A lot of central banks, including our own, waiting on the Fed to do something about their own Fed funds rates. When is that going to happen? Because it keeps being, being pushed further and further out. Well, we started the recap absolutely with an expectation it was going to be on the table. Uh, we saw some very positive commentary from some of the Fed presidents, but uh, the minutes that we saw released yesterday just didn't match that commentary and, you know, it indicated a more of a, a split Fed and uh, a willingness to wait and hold off and see how inflation and growth uh, performs going forward. The market, futures market now says less than 50% chance of a further Fed rate increase this year. Wow. And look, do you think the data supports that, that pricing? Look, it does, I think, yeah. I think uh, globally you're seeing uh, downgrades to inflation and growth forecasts. You're seeing that reflected in further downward movements in official uh, cash rates, uh, such as here, for example, in May and August, and continued um, uh, quantitative easing and bond buying right throughout uh, Japan and uh, all throughout Europe as well. So, look, I don't think, uh, you know, we're likely to see that movement up. And uh, as you mentioned, the top, uh, you know, the, the US rates where they are, every time those do move up, you just see a, a, a lot of money hitting and taking advantage of those yields. So for those people who are in the fixed income space looking to build their exposure there, where are the flows going in terms of getting return in that space? Look, it's interesting. I think people are certainly looking for fixed rate returns, so there's some certainty there. But interestingly, we're seeing continued demand for inflation linked bonds, both here and also uh, what we call TIPS, which are Treasury Inflation Protected Securities in the US. Great demand for that. So investors are starting to prepare, knowing that inflation is a major focus of the central banks. Great stuff, Simon. Appreciate it. Thank you. Have a good weekend. Simon and Michelle there from Fig Securities. We are going to take a break. When we come back,